Oh, good morning. It's uh, 5.38 on Sunday, the uh, 8th of August. <clears throat> it's 55 degrees. It was 52 when I woke up at 5 o'clock. It's just warming up in the first hair of the day over there. Another one there. Anyway, today is the 8th of August. That's my brother Ed's birthday. Happy birthday, Ed. He's uh, currently vacationing in his uh, motorhome. Saw some pictures of him and his family this morning. Went to breakfast yesterday at the Somerville Club. I got down there just a little bit after eight. I thought we would see uh, a friend Ralph there. But it turned out Ralph uh, had woke up at oh, 3 15 in the morning, I think he said. And uh, packed up and was a uh, he said the first person for breakfast at 7 o'clock. Yeah. I should have asked Kevin O'Brien whether Ralph had been in already, but the Stoneville Club served 110 breakfasts yesterday. 110. When we got there, a little after eight, I said. Uh, we had a park behind the building because there was no parking spots in there. Parking spots. They had been packed inside. So anyway, I had my usual two pancakes, two eggs scrambled, two sausage, and uh, Let's get my sausage ready. Right. A little chilly. I don't have the tanning jacket on. I got the slicker, I guess. I don't know. Come on, come. Let's go. I uh, rearranged the uh, equipment in the barn. Ralph had dropped off Ron's ATV. And we weren't going to use that for a while. Well, two months. And uh, so I put that over in the back of the barn. Hooked it up to a battery tender. And then took my um, Sportsman 500 out, which I had to have for a while. Had to have for a while. So much, so long a time that I think the tires are getting tight spot. <clears throat> so took a full ride up to the uh, town line and then to the back of the way. Yeah, I moved 
that I moved the scrambler back next to Ron's bike and then a brake so I use this Fortune 500 a little bit just to keep that exercised And uh, unfortunately, I have to have a, a very big breakfast. Came home, took a nap on the couch. Let's navigate into potholes here. Nothing inside of the game cameras again. I think I'm just wasting my money with those cameras. Five dollars, five dollars per camera per month. That's fifteen dollars a month. They almost buy me uh, a fifteen pack of beer. Then pull me myself home. Off my head. <clears throat> Earlier in the season, I was thinking about buying a a sea do also known as a wet jet. There's other terms. At least he does a brand. Put in the red. Good. Got a hammer. What are you doing? There you go. Shop around, well, I didn't shop around, I look at the marketplace and uh, everything that was in my price range was two cycle. I don't know how to two cycle. The snowmobile is a two cycle and I have to drive a nap for. A few hours, you get off the snow like two sickle exhaust. Look at that little You see that little guy? Tangle kind of guy. He might be on the radio. Was a 522, so I figured it'd be a nice day. <clears throat> Don't know what the uh, plan is for today. I know uh, Mr. White was supposed to come up this weekend. I don't know where he's on his way up today. He usually shoots me a text that he's here or he's on his way. That's a little chilly.
a lot of the life and search or something to watch on the, the boob tube last night. And uh, she pulled up Twister. And I'm going to read about to any of those. We didn't watch the end of it. Got tired of watching it. mid-90s because they had a, uh, a new model Dodge pickup truck and a crew cab in that tree oh, turn red. I don't know what kind of tree it is or what kind of bones it is. shape of one. It turned around on the stretch of that heart. picked up a set. over here and turn around. If he makes it that far. He's looking for a spot. <laughs> and there he found it. That's beautiful morning. We have a breeze picking up. Not much. Right then. Jump in the house.
heard some uh, rumbling of thunder yesterday afternoon. Just some dark clouds coming through, but we didn't get any thunderstorms, although uh, one of the gypsum guys posted a video of uh, some pretty good rain. I even said some ice in it, we just fell. It wasn't hazing. Then we're going to do it with Brian, Brian Gibson. And let's go from the house. I was trying to the idea of putting the air conditioners away yesterday. A couple more days we can use them, but it's not in the weather forecast. <clears throat> Watch an interesting video yesterday. follow-up research on the Moderna jab, the booster jab, a uh, control group of 777, 777 medical professions in a hospital environment where they uh, do a real study. And they that one in 35 had myocarditis and uh, they, uh, they warned the people that had myocarditis not to do any exercises and uh, fortunately nobody died from it so the study uh, Hadn't been released yet. It was peer reviewed study. <clears throat> and uh, the guy's from New Zealand. He's a doctor. And he said that. Uh, Unconscionable that they'd be telling people to take the jab without telling them that they should have one in 35 would have myocarditis as a result. And I'm hoping YouTube doesn't block this video because I'm talking about it. the uh, Johnson & Johnson one and done and no boosters after that so none of the uh, 
mRNA crap. Memory ribonuclear acid, I think it stands for. mRNA. Another video where the uh, World Health Organization is trying to come out with a 100-day uh, turnaround on vaccine development and also come out with some some rules on what can be said about it. Who has to get it? I, mean, I don't care. I don't trust the World Health Organization. They lied about COVID. They lied about masks. They lied about the origin. <clears throat> Trump was right when he backed out of the World Health Organization. Just a bunch of bureaucrats. Some mud. Oh, good boy. <clears throat> Let's see if we can put a link in the description and a video from the uh, New Zealand doctor about the 135. Back to the homestead here.
This is a tickler in the house. They take the, uh, the harness off him. He usually has the uh, puzzle box on the floor for him. He's got four compartments. They load up with treats. And he scampers over there to uh, open each compartment of the puzzle box. We've been putting new treats in there and he doesn't like them. So I'm going to put treats in there this morning. There was one from yesterday. to wrap it up for today. Sunday, August 6th. And happy birthday to Brother Ed. Let's go have some coffee. Thanks for watching. Oops.